making the right moves, but he's falling short with the right hook. Gear off being very smart and staying out of range of that shot. There's a summary of the score. Ross down by six. Coach Amber, I suggest, is going to take the best round of Troy Ross's amateur career to pull this one out. You know, and it's going to be risky, too, because he's got to take it to Yerov. He can't be laying back because Yerov has the lead. He's going to have to take it, and he's got to watch the power of Yerov because Yerov's got some dynamite in that left hand. Third round underway. Troy Ross of Brampton in the red against Vasily Yerov of Kazakhstan. In the blue, some of the steam went out of Troy Ross when he had to take a standing eight count in the second round. We'll see if he's got his legs back now in round three. Another scoring shot comes up for Vasily Yerov. And he's cut under the eye. Doesn't look to be a big one. Won't be a factor in the fight. You know, I tell you from experience, Scott, that southpaws hate fighting southpaws. And Ross just landed the right. This is what I mean. Troy will have to take it to him and try to stay in close quarters. He's got nothing to lose now. He's got to go for it. And he is There's going the for it. Bombs. Oh, look at this. He's closed it with him four. Ross going to work on Vasily Yura. And he should stay downstairs on this guy, slow him down a little bit, make him drop his hands. Well, That's a he, slip. As he waited in, he took his shot, but again, it was a slip. That was a slip. Still within four. He's got to get down on those body shots. Yerov's doing it. Troy's got to get right back into that closer range and just open up like he did there. Keep Yerov on the defensive. There's that left uppercut again from Yerov. But it did not come up. Don't ask why. Troy Ross still within four. There's Yerov. When he's at long range, he's got the advantage. No points came up, though, for Yerov on that, on that straight exchange flurry. The uppercut again, that falls short. Troy's got to let his hands go. He can't throw the one shot at a time. He's got to do what he just did at the outset. Halfway through round three, and you're right, he has to mount some offense here. In the Canadian corner cautioned to remain quiet. No coaching allowed from the corner. Every fan in the building can bellow at the top of his or her lungs, but the coach is not allowed to say anything. <laughs> A slight amount of sarcasm there, Mr. O. Well, Troy Ross is trying to pull it out here in round three. He has tried to track Vasily Yerov down from the outset of this round. That's where he's got to do some work. He's got to get in closer and start with the body. He's headhunting too much. Get down on that body. They seem to be scoring them now. Or are they only scoring them for certain fighters? I don't know. Oh, there's the left uppercut again. And a taller fighter will use that against the shorter man. Body shot certainly cost Mike Strange yesterday in his loss to Tancho Tonchev of Bulgaria, but Russ says we're in the final minute of round three. It's fast shaping up as the miracle punch required by Troy Ross to pull this out. He's got to let his hands go. He's punching from too far away. Got to get in a little bit closer. Start with the body and then work your way up. 30 seconds to go in round three now. Can Troy Ross get the five points he needs to tie it? Would seem unlikely. He needs to let his hands go. He's not letting his hands go, and Yerov is on his bike, staying out of harm's way. There he is again, slips away to the left, to the right, moves back over to the left. Yerov has just been too slippery, too evasive for Ross in round number three. Ten seconds to go. That body shot got through. That left hand is heavy-handed from Yerov. You know, he didn't show this kind of boxing skill against Orino. This was not the guy... We picked this guy to come here and go to war with, with Troy Ross, and he outboxed him. That's what he did. He outboxed him. Well, that's it. Troy Ross wins two, loses one here at the Olympic Games, and this loss keeps him out of the medals. Gave it his best shot in the third round, Russ. He sure did, you know, and I mean, you can't ask any more from him for, for that. He tried, but just too slippery. And, it, you know, had they watched the videotapes of this guy's fight, of Yerov's fight with Arino, never would they have seen this style because that's not what we saw in it at all. I mean, in, in the fight with Arino, he was all over Arino. He was looking like the, the slugger type guy. He got hit with all kinds of shots. But against Troy Amos Ross, who I don't know if he had trouble with the southpaw style, but for whatever reason, or uh, Yerov looked like a defensive genius.
Ross has boxing bloodlines. Father Charles boxed for Guyana in the 68 game. The sport's big in the Ross family. Troy is the cousin of 88 silver medalist Eggert and Marcus. There's confirmation of the decision. Vasily Yurov gets it on points. 14-8 the count. And so Troy Ross is done. Vasily Yurov goes on to the semifinals with at least a bronze for Kazakhstan. You're watching CBC's live and exclusive coverage of the Centennial Olympic Games from Atlanta. Especially in the third round, but would you agree that in the end you were just beaten by a better fighter on this day? Well, exactly. I would say I was beaten by a better fighter. Um, maybe, maybe if I had, maybe if it was my day, maybe it would have been a whole different story. But I really can't say anything about that. Um, he gave it his all, and um, I gave, I gave mine in the last round, and. The way the decision went, um, that's the way it goes in boxing sometimes. So maybe, maybe you'll see me in um, a couple of years fighting again. But right now, I just want to take a vacation. Well, you're only 20. I should imagine you have plans for boxing beyond this. Uh, I don't know right now. Right now, like I said before, I just want to take a vacation, uh, get boxing out of my head. Don't want to hear about boxing for for now. But um, it was it was great that I got down to the Olympics and everything. I gave it all my, all I got. Um, I can't say. I really can't say anything about the other guy. Just that I was beaten by a better opponent, and that's what I—that's what—that's what I—that's the way I came down into this tournament. Um, the only way I was going to lose was to get um, either outboxed or um, stopped by a better, just by a lucky punch. And um, that's what he did today, and he was very victorious in in that way. So I'm—I'm um, I'm proud. I'm proud of myself, um, like I said before, and I was beaten by a better opponent today. So. I don't want to push you on this, uh, Troy, but the Ross family boxes, that's what they do. Oh, yeah. Um, that, that is what they do. Um, but we have other things that we, um, we do, too. So, um, like me, I'm in creative fashion right now. So I'm just going to go back to school and finish that off. One final question about the bout. Did his southpaw style uh, throw you off? Because um, he seemed well, to take away any possibility of the left-right combination that worked so well for you in your first two fights. Well, southpaws always um, throw me off. Um, it's a whole different style. It's, it's just awkward when I get in the ring. But I really can't say nothing about, um, about him beating me on southpaw. It was just um, today was his day. Right, and he was, a very good, uh, he was a very good punch, um, boxer, like I said. Yeah, he was a quality opponent. No question about that. Troy, I want to thank you for your time. Congratulations. You fought well at these Olympic Games. Thank you.